Hey what's up everyone welcome back to another hater video. Now today's video I want to show you guys something quite embarrassing and you know and amazing at the same time. Uh, basically as you guys know about this map already for those who play hate on PC you know a lot with the mods and stuff. Um, basically you know Rejector Shotgun he made this map uh, you know a while back now uh, but, he, he, but he made a lot of updates for it. He added like new vehicles and I think he probably added like a new equipment as well, which I haven't checked out. I think it was a jetpacker, the jetpacker equipment. So yeah, my point is uh, for this whole video that I want to make. Um, this mod has 15 new vehicles, like in this one map. That literally just disappeared, I think. Oh, never mind. Yeah, so this map has 15 new vehicles. I mean, yeah, while I was playing on it, like as you guys know, I was away from my PC for eight months and i just wanted to try this mod out so so you know uh he made some updates to it so i was just like forging around spawning spawning on these vehicles and one thing was going through my mind like why isn't halo infinite like wh why doesn't like no halo games the latest halo games not have this as a as an official thing like it blows my mind like like i don't know what people are playing at in this mod right here what we're seeing here it has you know 15 new uh, vehicles and and they're amazing you know it's, it's something that every diehard Halo fan has been dreaming of and and I'm really shocked you know we didn't really get anything like this you know in, in the latest in, in the latest Halo game I mean I don't know what 50 are playing at oh, hang on I'm just gonna go to play mode and just try these vehicles um, yeah like I, you know I understand you know 50 really you know you know they've done a bad job with uh, with the shop. You know overpricing the shop, and you know people have to pay more money. But if they at least given us these vehicles like for free and not be locked behind a paywall or anything like that, and you could spawn these in Forge in Infinite, that then that would have been amazing. I mean they've done an amazing job with Infinite, like with Forge. Oh yeah, and this weapon here, like this is supposed to be a vehicle showcase, right? Uh, this weapon here is a sanction weapon, right? And it's a pretty beast weapon. Uh, probably shoot out a vehicle or something. Like, like, it's such a really good weapon. And you see this weapon in Infinite, but it's been locked uh, behind a paywall. So, so yeah, I was just like, oh, that's a loud noise. That was a mantis. Oh yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, there's a mantis in this. And I was just, you know, just forging around. You know, I just wanted to spawn these vehicles in, and it's just, it's really depressing if you think about it. Like, we never had this. You know, in the latest Halo game, and you need a mod, you know, just to play this, and uh, it just blows my mind how we don't have this yet. So let me show you. Like I remember making this video of the Scarab a while back, and uh, you know, I was just showcasing people that yeah, Scarab is actually working uh, in Halo Three mods now. Um, but yeah, man, it's actually it's actually really embarrassing that we don't get none of this uh, in the latest Halo game, man. Just look how good this looks, you know. Like, why can't Three Fifty add this? Like, Three Fifty, if you're watching this, like, why can't you have this in the next Halo game? You know, give us like a massive B two B map, you know, set on Zeta or something, and you know, give us a hundred players. Like this, this looks amazing. I'm really impressed. Honestly, I don't know why we don't have nothing like this in the next Halo game. You know, I know it's pretty bad that they were overpriced the shops, but I swear to God, if they actually given us, you know, f you know, free stuff like you know, giving us the, all the vehicles, like every vehicle from from like Halo Three all the way up to you know, from like from you know to Halo Five or something, right? Like imagine the vehicles from, from Halo Wars. I think this vehicle is from Halo Wars. So I was just playing, you know, I was just playing around with this and I'm, I was really shocked on how incredible this looks. Hi, uh, this feels good as well. Uh, hang on, let me show you another one. Like this is the, uh, what do you call this vehicle? I forgot what you call it. Hang on, let's see the name of it. The name of it, it's, um... Uh, yeah, it's the vulture, and you can fly the vulture while you're walking around. I think it will kick you out though if you if you go close to the uh, the hangar. But just look at the details in this vehicle, dude. Like, again, you know, it's something you don't have in Infinite. And Infinite is 
it's supposed to be like you know it's crazy because you know infinite was supposed to have unlimited content right but it's actually the opposite now for you know for the mcc like i feel like halo mcc is actually is actually infinite you know you want to fly should we fly this like i just forgotten i mean i did play this a lot like even on stream but i i forgot on how good this actually was like on how amazing you know this this actually plays out and i'm just really impressed on what they've done to this and i don't know man like it's it's shocking as well we can go try out the lich that's a new vehicle you also added and things like the next halo game shouldn't really go to free to play i just feel like it might spoil the 343 um let's go try the mantis and this is another vehicle that he added i don't know if i can fly i don't know if i can drive it i was trying to hop into it i think he hasn't done an update to it but i've definitely seen rejected shotgun was uh, playing around with that and look look how good the spectre looks man look dude it's like it's just it's actually quite depressing like do you guys find this really depressing how we we'll never, we we'll probably never get this in the next in the next Halo game. Like we still haven't got a new weapon in Infinite. I don't want to say the Bandit is a new weapon because it's not a new weapon. You know we still have yet uh, to see the Falcon. Um, it's really embarrassing. I don't know. It's really bad. Like I don't know what if they are doing to Halo. It's it's shocking and uh, it's really frustrating as well. Like we we should have like got something like this, man. Look at this map. It's it's amazing. You know, you have the gondola in the middle, and oh gosh! Hang on, let's let's go uh, fly this lich. I think it's a jetpack. He added. Should we? We can try the jetpack. Should we try the jetpack? Hang on, let me get my controller. Uh, spawn a. I think he has a jetpack here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or has any? I remember seeing his live stream, and he had, a, you know, I remember him wearing a jetpack. Maybe he removed it. The reason why he added the jetpack so players can find a way to, um, maybe to fly up this lich, maybe to abort the lich. But I guess he doesn't need to do that since there's a lift now. Oh, look at this, dude! Look at this, Toothy. You need to look at this, man. Like, you guys, I don't know what you guys are doing. You guys need to add these vehicles in next in the next Halo game and. You know, don't put them behind the paywall. I, you know, I really think Halo Infinite should not go free to play. Because they'll just do something stupid with the uh, customization and I don't know. They'll just probably over overprice things or something. How do I fly this? There's a way of flying it. You fly it here, I remembered. When we're seeing a live stream. Let's fly here. Look at that, dude. Let's put my controller away. Alright. This looks amazing. It's a shame there's no modern browser. Like that would have changed MCC once and for no, you know, once and for all. And we could have had you know a bunch of uh, servers running this mod. I mean, there's there's tons of multiplayer like B2B mods, or even bigger than this. Yeah, this is just a few. This is one of the few examples I'm showing you guys. Like, bro, you know, imagine you saw this in multiplayer in Infinite. It would have been amazing. Here we fire. Let's see. This is the base of, you know, Forge World, man. Look at look at the size of this. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, it flies great. I don't know. I haven't played multiplayer like with this uh, with the new version, so I don't know how good the Lich, uh, you know, I don't know how good the good Lich will play out or the Mantis. But this looks incredible. It looks amazing, dude. I can't believe, like... Ah, <sighs> man. I, we really need a modern browser, man. And then, like, you will have a bunch of people just playing this all day long. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, these are the vehicles that I spawned in. Like, all these vehicles in Forge. And I was just spawning them in. I was just lining them up. And I was like, bro, like, why don't we have... We don't have any of this. I mean, I don't want to say we had the Pelican in Forge. Because that's just a prop, isn't it? Wait, will it still let drop if I come off the uh, driver's seat? Yeah, it's still floating, bro. That's pretty sick. Nice. Dude, this is dope, honestly. 
So for those who are on Xbox, you can't play this on uh, uh, on consoles, unfortunately. I don't know if uh, if console will ever get crossplay. Uh, sorry, like you know, with mods, you know, mod, you know, modded crossplay. Um, yeah, I don't know if we could get that. I don't know if we get mods on consoles and. I mean, would they still have an update the server browser? Look at the interior for this man. It's, it's dope. I think the windows need to look a bit clean, so you can really blend. Like you can really see what's going on out there. Look how nice that looks. It's really immersive. I swear you made this as a passenger seat. I remember you were saying that you would make that as a passenger seat. Um, I think one of the seats is supposed to be a passenger. Another one's just a driver. Yeah, I think he did something with the longsword. Like, it doesn't, um... Like, you can actually control the longsword now. Which is pretty nice. Let's go, let's go high. Yeah, if you guys really like this video, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, you know, share the video. I feel like we need to get this video to T43. To show them what we, what we really want, you know. I feel like the next Halo game should not go free to play and then just make it for a $60 price and then and then bring a bunch of these vehicles in, in the next Halo game man, flipping out, like bring them in. We've been asking for like, for how long, 20 years now? Like we've already told you, we've already shown you, oh my god I'm stuck. Oh god, I can't control myself. Oh shit, you see it going down. <laughs> hey, wow, that's great like that uh but yeah i think we should really get this uh 2243 and uh to show them what, and what we really want um but yeah if, if you guys really like this you know be sure to leave a like you know follow us on twitch uh i do stream halo on there quite a lot on twitch so go ahead and drop a follow and i'll see you guys in the next halo video take care guys bye